Hey everybody, this is Will with AppAddict.net, and today I'm doing a iPad mini case review on the Switch Easy Canvas. Um, I actually, more for the most part, really enjoyed the canvas for the original iPad, so I was kind of excited to pick this uh, case up, see how it compares to the original version. And lo and behold, it's pretty much the same exact thing. That's good and bad. There's a couple different things that'll go along with that, but they've made some changes to this case to just add on to it. So. I'll definitely be going through a lot of that. Um, here's the standard issue box art that they've been coming out with with their iPad type cases. This one comes with the screen protector, squeegee, microfiber. You've got the two lightning port connectors and the two headphone port connectors. That's pretty much that. This case offers the, as you can see here, kind of has a standing position and it's got a microfiber lining. It's got, as you can see right here, the on off auto wake function that you'd expect from anything pretty much. They say it's a splash resistant coated canvas. I wouldn't test that, so, but it's something to note nonetheless. So I've already gone ahead and installed it. I can kind of show you how to remove it. So here it is right off the bat. Something that's really annoying me about this case is that the top lid is not, it's not straight. Um, they're a little bit easier to see it right here. See, and no matter what I do, what I try to fix as far as trying to break this thing in. I've been using it for about two weeks now and uh, still it, it's kind of crooked there and that kind of annoys me. But I can kind of figure out what kind of does it. That being this portion from here to here is actually crooked and it's really hard to see because my camera here doesn't have the biggest, the widest range. Um, but it's actually slightly crooked as far as being on the case. Um, this part being manufactured onto this. It's actually crooked. So that's what so you can see right there. You can see this edge goes up. So slight manufacturing uh, defect. I haven't contacted Switch Easy about it and I'm not sure how, what sort of support I'd get in regards to that. Uh, let's go ahead and go around the case. As you can see, you've got a nice grill openings here for the speaker and uh, microphone down there. I actually think it's just dual speakers. And uh, lightning uh, connector there. I have the lightning port plug in so you can see what it looks like. Everything else is nicely covered. Uh, you got these little buttons here on top of the volume rockers. These aren't fully covered. You can see a silver shine there. So it, that's, I, I kind of like that. It's kind of a new thing I've seen. I'm seeing a uh, nice cutout for that. Nice cut cutout for that. Yeah, everything's nicely cut out. And I've got the headphone protector in there too. I like the canvas uh, texture. This is new. I've never seen this until I found the first original canvas from Switch Easy, which was I think like two years ago, maybe a year ago. Um, and I really like it. It doesn't show like my my hands are quite often I sweat a lot So my hands are often pretty sweaty um, So having a material that You don't see like a finger mark like a, a lot of cases like leather or plastic cases Especially when you hold your case like this for you know, maybe four minutes or a couple minutes, whatever And you let go you're gonna see like your whole hand, you know imprint and You'll slowly see it disappear this one, just due to the type of material, you're not going to see that. So that's a real big bonus to me. Oh, and this is the charcoal color, if you're wondering. Um, going back to the inside, uh, you do have this uh, microfiber lining here. And it's really nice. It works great. It's soft. You're not going to scratch your screen. Um, and before I get to anything, right off the bat, people are going to ask me, oh my god, what screen protector? Um, this is not the Switch Easy screen protector. I pretty much use, uh, the only screen protectors I generally use are Poetic screen protectors. So. Uh, Y-O-U-R, Poetic.com, I use their screen protectors. This is their matte screen protector. I prefer the anti-glare, anti-fingerprint screen protectors for the reasoning I mentioned before. I hate fingerprints. I hate, ugh, uh, gl glare bothers me. I prefer, I'll, I'll take the slight hit in uh, clarity for having a nice matte finish screen protector. So I use uh, Poetics. They come with a multiple, they get two iPad screen protectors in a pack. It might be three. I know for the iPhone you get three in a pack. So and they're on Amazon or yourpoetic.com. Check them out. Um, anyway, so you can see my screen looks great. Uh, the way this case actually installs is that you simply, it's a shell. You put your iPad in it, you push down firmly, it clicks into place, very simple. The one thing I do not like about this case is how it goes into the standing position. Now, the original canvas case, this will make more sense. And let me just show you how it works. There we go. 
there is this. This clasps on to the side of the iPad right here, as you can kind of see. So this, this is a bigger part of the shell. It, it forms the shell fully, and when you put it back into the normal position, it clamps back on. So going into a standing position actually does require you to kind of use your thumbs to pry this little piece off. And that's no big deal. Originally, it was Velcro right here, and this was a whole solid piece. I think I prefer that, to be honest. I think I heard complaints about the Velcro wearing off and whatever. I never had any trouble. So now they switched over to this little piece, and let me turn this thing over. And so now you've got a naked piece of your iPad there, and you've got the, these are the rubber stands. These actually grip the microfiber. So it, it's just a design change. You can see, it works great. Any angle, it's not gonna move because of those little rubber pads that it has on the bottom. It works great. I think I like the, the uh, the uh, Velcro, sorry, a little bit better. But, you know, this is a fine way to do it. I just hate having to unclamp it from my iPad every time. I guess me, the OCD in me, worries about it scratching the bezel a lot. But, you know, I'm not worried that much. So just kind of a minor inconvenience that requires an extra step to pop. You have to pop off part of the case in order to put it in this type of position. So, and you can go about as low as, you know, as it'll extend. This, I've used it for two weeks and this thing really, you can see kind of the wear end marks here. I think it's kind of ugly. But this is as far as it really goes, as far as a typing position. Um, there's nothing really, you know, it's not really a typing position, but that's about it. It's, um, do I like this case? I do like it. And am I gonna, is it my new go-to case? No, it is not. Um, I, I've been battling with Switch Easy for, I'd say maybe a year now. And, uh, you know, their, their quality has definitely come and go, come and gone, sorry. Um, but nonetheless, it is a fantastic product. It, it does its job. I probably should contact them about maybe getting one that's a little bit free, more free of defects. I don't like the front flap, that it's a little bit crooked. Uh, some people might not care. It'll bother me. If I pick the case up and ever so slightly move the screen. Oh, watch here. You have to, there we go. Okay, good, it's on. Um, if I move the screen a little bit, it'll turn the uh, screen back on. So otherwise this feature works fine. As you can see, everything works fine. It's a nice tight ship. I'd say it's very stitched really well and it looks really nice. So I do recommend this. It does have a couple flaws. Um, not my favorite type of case. I actually preferred the one with the Velcro. So overall, it's a nice case. I do recommend it. It's not my personal favorite. And that's about it. That's all I really have to say about this case. Um, it's a pretty good case, but in my opinion, it's got some flaws. So this is the Switch Easy iPad mini canvas case, and it's available now. Links are down below. And be sure to watch out for my new videos coming on probably after this, probably after this review, I'm going to be reviewing all my new cases with my new DSLR camera. Picked up a Canon T3i DSLR and my video quality should skyrocket. So I'm excited to get that. But I'm redoing my setup because I've got to have a bigger, slightly bigger tripod and uh, set up for doing that sort of thing. A little bit more uh, technical and make it look more awesome. So that's about it, everybody. Thank you very much and have a good one.